Today you will learn what load balancing is. Subscribe now and let's go. Imagine you are the owner of a website. This website is called by thousands of different clients per minute. It is not easy for any single server to keep up with the requests and display information within the blink of an eye. Your end users certainly won't be happy about delayed answers from the website. And downtime is not accepted. This is where Load Balancer comes into the game. Once a bunch of clients request information over the internet, a Load Balancer will distribute the requests to the different servers in the resource pool. Thereby, it ensures that no single server becomes overworked and subsequently unreliable. Such load balancers will minimize your server response time while simultaneously maximizing throughput. Now you may ask yourself what load balancing methods might exist. I will show you the 5 most common ones, which are all based on algorithms. First, there's the so-called round robin method. An incoming request is delegated to the first available server, and the server is switched to the end of the line. So the first request could be redirected to server A, the second to server B, the third to server C, and the fourth to server D, and the fifth again to server A and so on. Next, we got the IP hash method. Here the IP address of the client will determine the server information is pulled from. Then there is the least connection method. This method routes traffic to the server with the fewest active connections. Meaning that if we have a server which is already requested by two clients and another server which is only called by one client, the next client will be distributed to the latter one. Then we got the least response time method. This method routes the traffic to the server with the lowest number of active connections and the lowest average response time. And we got the least bandwidth method, which measures traffic in megabits per second and sends client requests to the server with the least Mbps traffic. Now you know what a load balancer is and what load balancing methods exist. Finally, let me show you how a load balancer could appear. We distinguish between hardware load balancers, software load balancers and virtual machines based on load balancers. Hardware load balancers are based on local hardware, can distribute a high volume of network traffic and are mostly costly and inflexible. Software load balancers are software based and come as commercialized or open source variants. They are often more flexible and cheaper than hardware load balancers. And finally, virtual load balancers provide the software of a hardware load balancing device on a virtual machine. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next time.